Good morning, my brothers and my sisters in the Lord. I am bringing another video out on YouTube just to keep everybody's eyes on the Lord. We do not have that much time to waste on things that do not matter. And, and I'm at fault here too. So I feel like I'm talking to a mirror because if we don't get our act together, if we don't get our houses in order, if we don't take a deep, hard look at ourselves and our families and, and have a plan, the reason why I'm talking about having a plan is because when I wake up, I thank the Lord because I don't know what my day is going to throw my way. But He does. I have been under attack, spiritually speaking, ever since I was a kid. It hasn't been until recently that I have looked at the Bible stories that just aren't stories. They are testimonies. They are true events that actually happened. When you read about King David, there is a King David. When you read about Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior of the world that hung on a cross, that was crucified, that was resurrected, that rose on the third day, that's coming back for us. There's all these things in the Bible that say, you know what? If that can happen to Job, that can happen to me. If Joseph can be thrown in a pit and be sold by his brothers and, and then go through and, and then be accused of something he didn't even do in the palace and then spend time in prison. I'm telling you, if you don't get a close relationship to your, to your Lord, to your maker, to your creator, we're living in the last days. We're living in the days that are forewarned about. We have been warned. I get excited because it's important. I just saw a video title saying that In God We Trust, which is on all of America's currencies, your pennies, your nickels, your dimes, your dollars, your fives, your tens, your twenties. I mean, cut, look, that offends people. That offends the atheists and the demonic powers and societies that are ruling and reigning. You know, when you first go to the doctor, and and it's the c word and and then you're you know you get that news and you got to like really think about it like you know and then you're stuck with it's it's you know it's just not real i'm trying to tell you guys uh, i'm trying to maybe even tell myself at the same time that i'm not going to be able to go to the dollar store with a dollar <laughs> and and this is no laughing matter because right now i i have this what where are we on time Okay, we're good. We're only at four minutes. See, whenever I see what's going on and whenever I see what's already happened to me in my own personal life, 
it's been hard, hard knocks. You know, it's a hard, hard life for us. But there's something about doing time and there's something about getting knocked down and there's something about being being just shoved down on the ground you you can't do anything but look up you that's what you do you look up and so in a spiritual spiritual way of speaking I want people to look up because what I'm trying to say is what's happening is going to get worse. What they are proposing to do is there's one word for it, demonic. But the good news is Jesus has overcome this world. And Jesus is coming back for his bride. And Jesus loves each and every one of us. And I'm telling you, family, out YouTube land, we are just like Peter. Remember when Peter was in the boat and there was a storm? And, and remember... Remember, Jesus called him out of the boat. And for a split second, that hope, that, oh my gosh, I see my Savior, and, and he's calling me, and you step out on faith, and so, you, you know, you only take one step towards the Lord, and then everything around you, just reminds you that you're dreaming and this isn't real and you're gonna fail and and then all of a sudden you just you see things happening and then all of a sudden you're back in the physical world because you took your eyes off the Lord I'm not even cold and wet but I feel like my arm is out right now and I'm like Lord, Lord, please don't let me experience what's getting ready to happen. <laughs> please. I don't even like money. I don't even have money. I mean, my favorite two stores to go to is the dollar store and the Goodwill store. <laughs> Donate, shop, change a life change a life and donate that size two skirt from BCBG that you only wore once and you gained weight and you can't wear it anymore because it fits me and I can get it now for like three dollars and you paid sixty dollars for do the math hmm <laughs> You know what, family? When you keep your eyes on the Lord in these days, you are going to make it. You are going to make it because it's the Lord that I look to. And when the enemy throws things at my personal life, I just get bold and I'm like, really? And then I shut. And then it's this. Is that all you got, you old lion devil? Because I got Jesus. And I don't care what I have to go through in this life. I'm going to do my part to touch a life, to share the faith, to share the good news. I'm telling you, our freedoms are under attack. Our currency is under attack. Our country is going to be under attack. Our country's under attack right now. But people just don't see it yet. If you don't know Jesus, I strongly, strongly 
now's the time to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your personal Lord and Savior. Because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens his believers. That's the only reason why I do videos. It's to point people to God Almighty and what his son Jesus did on the cross there's power in the blood now I'm gonna I want to share this and then I've got to click off I am NOT on YouTube that much anymore I don't really have time to invest in these videos because number one these people are so secular and they are so God hating people that God says, don't cast your pearls among the pigs. When I post scripture and people tear it apart and defame it and verbally drop their, their, their mouth feces on my Bible scripture posts, and this is how idiotic people are. Someone said that God and Jesus, it's a lie, and that they didn't need God and Jesus, and, and I posted, you wouldn't be here if it weren't for God and Jesus, and he wrote back, I'm here because my parents had sex. And, uh, yeah, somebody else wrote something else and nobody wants to accept that there is an almighty God that created this universe they think God is a joke. They think Jesus is a lie. I'm telling you, family, we have to pray for these people. And that's what I did, you know, for Mr. Stoopy, though. Because I don't remember what his name was. I'm telling you, family. That's why I don't leave comments. Whenever I say Jesus saves or God loves you or it's time to repent or you, you know, or Jesus is coming back, anything to wake these people up. People are not looking at the bigger picture. They're too focused on what's going on that doesn't even matter. We already know that in the latter days you can't buy a loaf of bread or a Pepsi Cola or anything unless you have the mark of the beast and you and, and you accept his mark it's going to be either in your forehead or your hand it's going on the internet everywhere and I'm not into conspiracy theories. I'm into Jesus Christ. And if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, you are going to have a very hard time in this world. I'm serious. I am so serious. And I want to tell you guys this one quick thing, and then I got to go. Why did the Mexican take his Xanax? For Hispanic attacks. Hispanic. For his pan. <laughs> See, look, you know what? There's so many serious things going on in the world, but you just got to focus on the Lord. That's what I do. It's serious and scary, but, you know, don't take your Xanax. Don't have a panic attack. Just look to the Lord because he's the, he's the way out. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. 
He really, really is. And I got to go. I love you. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you tomorrow, God willing. Bye.